them making all that noise You know it's the garbage boys I would love to take DMT and live with apes. That sounds great. <laughs> I think we would like. You do live with apes. Ha <laughs> ha. How dare you say that? <laughs> How dare you say that about my father? <laughs> <laughs> my father's a proud silverback. I resent that. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, hey, Dad. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'll just get him a snack. Ooh. <laughs> give me a banana. <laughs> banana. Ooh, ooh. Give me a banana. Oh, Rain, I wanted to tell you I don't know uh, it's I don't know how good this is for podcast material, but uh-huh. uh because we were talking last night and I, I, I remember that I was I was like, Oh, I was, I was I wanted to tell you something and then I, and then we were talking and, and um like I forgot, but then I remembered uh I finished I read all of Uzumaki. Yay! Yo! Dude. I was just good thinking job. about that well recently. I kind of wanted to reread it, but it's good. Have you heard of his one where like this woman shows up to like a psychi- psychiatry or psychology or some kind of help place mm-hmm. sanatorium mm-hmm. uh and like um she's been having like oh no, it's a guy. Uh he's been having like longer and longer dreams every single night and each night they feel like like, oh, it started out feeling like a day, then it started feeling like a month, then a year, then like a hundred years. Mm. That one's oh, great. Wow. That one's like That's terrifying. Cool. <laughs> That's like, like a that. real fear that I have. Because <laughs> like each time forever. it gets longer and then he like loses his grasp of reality because it feels like it's been a hundred years. And then like yeah. the days he experiences, he's only been there for like one day. I have a genuine fear of like waking up and realizing my life was a dream and none of it was like anything and now i'm like back to square one and none of the progress i made was worth anything that's a true terrifying nightmare but then you know you can just do whatever you want after that you know yeah no you have to remember clean slate but then (laughs) like i won't have the friends that i made or like the things that i learned oh the pro wait you only keep wait you don't keep all the memory of like all the things you've learned (laughs) <laughs> no, it was just that like no, dream logic where you dreamed you learned it, but then you wake up, you don't actually know it, you know? <laughs> like, have you ever had a dream where like you're just like speaking German or something, but then you wake up and you're like, I don't actually know how to speak German. Yeah, I've it's like that. Had that. I, it's I've, like that yeah, dream, dream where like you that. you wake up in your bed and you you like look to you look in your room and you see all it's it's like oh it's you're like oh yeah it's Hanukkah and you see all of your <laughs> presents in your room and they're all your favorite Lego sets. And then you're like, oh, my God, this is, like, the best day of my life. I can't believe this. And then you get up and you start opening all the presents. And you're like, this is everything I wanted. All the Star Wars mm-hmm. uh, Legos are here. I got the uh, I got the X-Wing. And then you wake up. And then you realize you're a 20-something and, and you're you in debt. And you realize you're 24. And you're and, depressed. And you did buy all those things. And now you don't have any money. Uh, and you didn't you like them anyway. You wasted all Legos. Yeah. And you're just so disenchanted with life that, like, you couldn't even find that much enjoyment from them anyway, even though it was, like, something yeah, now you have that should have been enjoyable. You realize you hate them now. And then you start stressing yourself out because you think, I, this should be enjoyable, but I'm not finding joy oh. in it. So then you get stressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ever yeah. happened to you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> I, I can't see... <laughs> I've had plenty of dreams that take place in my real life, and I hate those the most. Yeah. I had like yeah, a nightmare I hate that was too. really weird. I, I used to stay every night at my cousin's place back in like elementary school. Not every night, every Friday night, we would. Uh, <laughs> I would we I would stay the night you at my lived cousin's there, place. Bro. <laughs> That's your house, dude. <laughs> your house. You just now I, realized as a kid you actually just moved in there. I would stay there every Friday night, um, and I had this nightmare about. We watched this mo- this movie. There's a great movie called Critters. Highly recommend. Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, I'm, it's wait. so funny. It's so describe good. describe it. I think I've seen it with you. It's like a B movie that that edges on becoming an A movie because it's really good. Well, what's <laughs> it about? Okay, so like these little cr- critters, uh, they're like hairy little balls, and they got like just awful monkey looking faces and like claw hands and claw feet uh and um 
there's they start in, in, infesting like this small town. Um, sounds like gremlins. It sounds a lot like gremlins, but there are bounty hunters from outer space that are there to capture the gremlins. Oh no! The movie starts out with like a spaceship is leaving a giant space prison. And then you're like, what the fuck is in that spaceship? And then it turns out to be those critters. Uh, and then the bounty awesome. hunters, the bounty hunters are after these critters. And the bounty hunters have like these blank faces that look like they're just covered in silicone. Mm. Uh, but they turn on Earth television to like learn about where the critters are going, and they see like the they see like the different people that are available on Earth. And like from the from the television, they see like a rock star. And so one of the bounty hunters becomes a rock star. And so, like, this huge rock star is just, like, walking around in, like, this strange alien bondage gear. And he's, like, trying to hunt down these critters. Uh, and it's awesome. That sounds <laughs> yeah. great. That's, Siskel that sounds and like Ebert a... both love that movie. Oh, okay. One of the few movies they That's agree weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Um, yeah, why that movie? Okay. They were like, it's great because they leave the aliens to just battle it out themselves. All right, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, no, I. Um, but I, I had. Anyway, it sound I forgot like I, don't I was like talking about guys. a fucking dream. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what was the what was the point of this? <laughs> so like, cr- uh, critters. There's critters one, and then there's critters two, and in critters two, the critters like left a bunch of eggs, uh, before they <laughs> were able to be exterminated, and this happens right around Easter. <laughs> Uh, so like there's like a big Easter egg hunt, but then like the critter eggs are also mixed in with the Easter eggs. Oh God! And uh, basically during like this this great fun time, all these critters start hatching. And I had this there's like this one scene where like this kid goes into like this like basement or like this uh, just generally unreachable area that I can't remember. But mm-hmm. there's like there's a scene where you can see all like the critter eggs like hiding. And I had a dream that I was in my cousin's house and I went into like the living room and I could see like these fucking critter eggs. <laughs> and like all these critters started hatching and like we're eating my fucking family. Oh, and it was no. like the worst nightmare I've ever had because it oh, took place in my real life cousin's house. I just had like the worst nightmare of my life literally yesterday, I think. Yesterday morning. Oh wow. Topical, um, please. Yeah. Yeah. And it right also on time. Like, <laughs> it turned into, like, an episode of Sleep Paralysis at the end, and... Oh, I love that show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, Monday nights at 7, <laughs> 8 p.m. Central, um, <laughs> I hadn't had a sleep paralysis since I was, like, 15 years old or so, and that was the only time I ever had it, and when I had it as a teenager, it was not the, like, standard, like black figure on your chest it was just like hands like pressing me down into the bed whoa whoa, whoa. black (laughs) sorry uh... sorry (laughs) african-american there you go all right (laughs) african-american hands Um, (laughs) figure (laughs) african-american figure (laughs) (laughs) my dream yesterday was one of those dreams that was so (laughs) terrifying in the moment but then after you wake up and you think about it it was like fucking hilarious Mm, because um they the the figure that ended up turning into my like sleep paralysis demon was a puppet (laughs) Mm. (laughs) what did it look like yeah what kind of puppet? um okay so to to preface normally when i have like nightmares they're not the classic kind of like horror type it's usually like just emotionally distressing or like existential dread type things like oh someone's dying or like i find out the people i love don't care about me those are my general Mm. kind of nightmares but this was like the first time i've had like a very cliche like horror genre type nightmare um Uh i was in some kind of like summer school and it started off with like it was. It started off as a normal dream, and then it turned into, like, a normal dream with, like, too many details, and then that turned into, like, some of the details are kind of creepy, and then it transitioned into just, like, a full-blown, like, horror nightmare. Um, so, like, everyone started off in the dream as, like, human, and I was in, like, a summer school-type setting, and then the teacher, all of a sudden, was, like, a puppet, 
And then she was like singing a song about being like emotionally vulnerable and open to her. And then all of a sudden we were in like a hospital room. And I remember having the thought like, oh, that's weird that there's a hospital room in this summer school. That there's a what? A hospital room. Mm. And there was um, like those little like baby incubator things. And all of a sudden the, the teacher who's now a puppet was holding like four babies in her arms and the babies were also puppets. And then, mm. um, so this, that's where like, okay, these are weird details, but still like a dream a whatever kind of dream. And then I looked at her hands and I think you guys might've saw, like I posted a drawing of it yesterday. Her hands yeah. were like too many fingers. I couldn't count. And they were like squirming and like, like, oh, she yeah, had, like warm that fingers. Yeah. yeah um, and then all of a sudden, she put one of the baby's heads in her mouth and just started like slurping. And oh my God. I remember having the thought, like that's kind of where I realized I was dreaming and being like, oh, <laughs> I don't usually have this kind of dream. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she was like a, a, the shadowy like sleep paralysis demon. And she was like pushing on my chest. And then I was like, luckily I, um, I've taken... One of my anthro classes last semester was um, Anthropology of the Supernatural, and we talked so much about sleep paralysis because that's just something, like, super prevalent in a lot of cultures. Mm. Um, so, like, while that was happening, I had the kind of just, like, mundane thought, like, oh, I'm having sleep paralysis. Let me just wait that one out. And then I woke up, and that uh, has haunted me ever since. And I cannot get the <laughs> image of her squirming worm fingers out of my head. Oh, my God. <laughs> That should be That's the name so of your scary. new metal band. Squirm Fingers. Squirming Worm Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's, that that's such means. a scary thing to, to think about. Like, like you just made me think about, like, what if, what, if, what if there was, like, an alternative universe in which, like, an alternate universe in which the teachers were, like, puppeteered? Like, it wasn't, like, <laughs> humans. They were, like, puppets. Like, like, like K through 12. You're taught by puppets. Like no, I think puppets. I, I think I yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. What, 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 what were these puppets like? Were they like Muppet puppets or closer okay. to like creepy um, ventriloquist yeah, dolls? Or? Yeah. What did they like, look like? More like Muppet type puppets. I remember ah. um, at one point the the teacher in this dream when she turned into a puppet, she looked kind of like uh, oh, Sesame Street. I can't remember, like, a specific character or something to compare her to, but it was kind of like a cross between, like, Alf and, like, <laughs> Bear oh, in the good. Big Blue House. Oh, oh no. Those are the yeah, two scariest Yeah, she, she was, like, a, like a, <laughs> she was, like, just a very, like, general, ambiguous animal figure. Oh, so she wasn't human. No, she, like, didn't look <laughs> wow. human anymore. Yeah. What about oh, the good. nurse and the babies? Or nurse. What was it? A nun? No, it was just her. It she was just, just the teacher. teacher. Yeah. It was just no, no. She Later, just, in the hospital. Yeah. It was no, the, this was this was all the same. Like yeah. we were in a classroom, and oh, then it just like yeah. dream logic morphed into being a hospital room with gotcha. babies in it. Yeah. I see. And the babies were like, um, they, they were like uh, more human. Like they looked like human babies, babies, but babies. kind of like a. Mm. They look kind of like the the like porcelain doll type. Like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just all around, not a very good experience. Everyone kind of unsettling. Wow. Oh, oh man. That's, ho- yeah, that's and horrifying. So I've never really had, like, such a cliche, horrifying nightmare with, like, puppets eating babies type scary nonsense. <laughs> I didn't even know my brain was capable of coming up with that. <laughs> That's why I was saying, like, sleep paralysis is weird, because it literally, it feels like I was having a normal dream, and then sleep paralysis happened, and, like, just kind of intruded on the dream and decided to start, like, messing with the details in it, and just (laughs) just fucking with me. Someone brain-jacked you. Yeah. Yeah, you got mind-jacked. Like like paprika. Yeah, Mm. dude. One of my, one of the... (laughs) One of the nightmares I can recall most recently is I had a pet rabbit and somebody stepped on it. <gasps> oh my god, I've oh. had dreams like that. Like, not that's intentionally. So, that's so upsetting, <laughs> yeah. 
I'm pretty like, sure I literally like had a dream out. like that um, about like a class hamster or something like a long time ago. <laughs> Getting stepped on? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, like it was like I was just hanging out and then suddenly like I looked over and then like my the <laughs> rabbit was under his shoe. I was God. like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> oh my God. That's amazing. Oh Michael, do you have God. nightmares? Uh, I don't. I know you have like a figure. I was gonna ask if you ever have sleep paralysis since I know you do a lot of like lucid dreaming. Only uh, lucid dreaming. Yeah. Luckily no. Uh no, I've never had the I've never had the like heavy weight on my chest or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um I have had I've had this thing when I was a kid where like one time I woke up and I like couldn't breathe. Um, oh fuck. Everything else was fine. Who, who knows if that was sleep related or health related? Who knows? Could but you woke up. like move, or was that also yeah, like I, a I paralysis could, type thing? No, nah, I could move. I just couldn't breathe. Okay. And I was like, okay, I need to. It's like I forgot how to breathe. It was very <laughs> the scariest <laughs> thing. I, man. I think I've had that before. Um, when I still had my tonsils, I think it was like a sleep apnea thing. Oh, yeah, I remember Interesting. that. And uh, I've also had this thing where like. I don't. Maybe this is, this counts as uh, cliche sleep paralysis, but it was really weird because it seemed like I can control it in a way, in the sense where I can just give Whoa. it to myself. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, whenever I slept on my stomach with my arms to the side, um, I tend to w- I tend to like <laughs> wake really up. Funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're just planking. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically just planking on my bed. I like I'll wake up. And I won't be able to like move or like turn over, and I have to like yeah. u- I have to like use so much mental strength to just get myself <laughs> to like flip over. And I think I know, that is sleep paralysis. Yeah, and I know hmm. basic like I don't hallucinate anything, I don't see anything, but it's yeah. just basically I just know that like okay, my mind has woken up before my body, and that's yeah. all it was. Because I know you can get sleep paralysis with just the paralysis and not any, like, hallucinations or, like, yeah. feeling pressure. That's about it. But if I don't, it norm- normally now, if you ever see me sleeping on my stomach, you'll see my arms, like, under me. Uh, like, <laughs> they're, like, cro- at least one is crossed under me, and it's oh, because man. of that. So like, <laughs> Do I your never... arms just, like, lose circulation in your sleep? No. <laughs> Somehow, no. Um... Because, like, a lot of times, um, it's really, it's, it's it's not great, but, like, um, I, I tend to, like, use too many pillows if I get the chance, or, like, I have it really high, because usually I'm in a position where I'm, like, sitting or leaning, and I just, like, fall asleep in that position in my bed, so I tend mm-hmm. to have higher weight for my head, so there's room under my chest if for, like, at least one arm, plus I'm, like, skinny, so... There's enough room yeah, there. Yeah, true. Um, so yeah, if I, I, like, yeah, I've never had any sleep paralysis or anything ever since then, technically. Uh, but normally, I guess, I guess technically, I've, I have nightmares to the extent of like, this dream really stresses my, stresses me out. Right. And then like, <laughs> and then like, I'll just stop it. I'll be like, that's enough of that. Move on. <laughs> wow. Uh, Change yeah. the channel. Basically, <laughs> it's it's it's. It's a wonderful time I have, but the only the only thing is that like a lot of times like it's really like I'm aware of the dream and I'm aware that I could change the dream, but I'm not aware that I am asleep dreaming, if that makes mm. sense. Uh-huh. Um so like sometimes I'm having a dream and I'm I'm like I know this is fake, but this is really awesome. So then, when I, <laughs> but then when I wake up, I'm like, "Oh man, that was a dream," you know? Like it's a it's a weird disconnect that yeah. I have. But that's usually how it goes. And like last night, it's probably because you know when quarantine, just so horny, you know, just uh, <laughs> just have these have these weird dreams where I'm doing stuff. I'm like, "This is dope." I know this is a dream, <laughs> so I'm not gonna go too far because this is weird. It's not it's not worth it. It's a dream. Yeah, yeah. And then I wait then I wake up, I'm like, damn, that wasn't real. And then wait, I'm like, what do you mean go too far? What are you I talking like, about? How could you go too you just... far if it's a dream? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, because it's like, what's the point, you know? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> why, why do it? It's just a dream. I'm not going to get anything out of this, except maybe a surprise if, when I wake up. Like, nobody, <laughs> nobody wants True. that. True. And then you have to deal with the whole cleanup situation. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, that's never happened to me. You never come in your sleep? You never had a wet dream? dream? No, no never. I've had but sexy, I have sexy had, dreams. I have had sexy yeah. dreams as well, yeah. I think it's happened to me once as a kid. But I'm sure it's still possible, so I'm going to avoid it. <laughs> that's why yeah, that's you do fair. it. That, that's why you restrain yourself because you don't want to have an accident. Well, that you should. Well, you should have a test. You should find <laughs> out if you if you can make yourself do it. I want to well, know, Michael. Well, that okay. I got you. Um, but <laughs> but also like, I don't know. It's just it's just because I know it's fake. A part of me is just like, what's the point? Why do it? Why not do something else yeah. that I can't do in real life, you know? Because right. it's a dream. Yeah. You know? Mm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. I'm Michael. I'm so cool. I can have sex whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> with whoever real, I want. In real life. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even have to have sex in my dreams because I can do it in real life yeah, all dude. the time. I just Way to disrespect your dream partner, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like they have guy. needs. I didn't mean I didn't mean to flex like that, but you know, just, <laughs> it's just what Michael, I do. Michael, yeah. have you ever talked to Danny about like astral projecting? Because uh, I know that she's tried that, well, and I know that lucid dreaming is usually like the quote unquote like gateway to it or something. And some people would consider you like very lucky to have such frequent lucid dreams, so you have like unlimited tries to astral project. Well, would you ever try that? I don't even know if that's real, but um, yeah, I don't know if it's real either. I've never... How would you go about trying? Um, I mean, I think that when people, my personal opinion, which obviously could change at some point, but I think when people say they astral project, it's just kind of like a lucid dream of them leaving their body. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. With and that. like going somewhere else. I've. Uh... Yeah, I've never tried, never talked to Danny about that, um, but I I would and should, I guess. Um, but no, I don't know if it's just uh, just me um, because of my personality and whatnot, but I'm sure other people agree with me on this, that um, I don't see it as, like, I'm really lucky that I can do this. I see it as I'm lucky in the sense that, like, I can avoid nightmares, I, I suppose, you know? Right. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, that's an upside, but the other upside is like I know lucid dreaming can also you know be the gateway to sleep paralysis one not so like yes. I hate I hate the fact that I lucid dream all the time and right because you're at constant risk for sleep paralysis exactly and I don't I actual project projection just seems ten times worse because you know obviously <laughs> obviously it's just a movie but I've seen Insidious. And like, <laughs> so who, who knows? You don't what want other... Darth Maul getting up in your body. Yeah, exactly. I don't want my body stolen. You know, but right. Um, but also, oh, yeah, uh, okay. even if even if that's like impossible, like l- assuming astral projection is real, who's to who's to say that like, like I I have a way to get out. Who's to say I have a way to come back in? You know, because mm-hmm. like terrifying. I read a book about that. Um in like middle school and i still think i mean i haven't read it since middle school maybe i should reread it that would be fun um but it was like my favorite book back then about that like a girl who figured out she could astral project and then one day she like couldn't get back in her body i think it was called stranger with my face was the name of the book that's That's pretty creepy (laughs) i don't remember who wrote it i want to say her first name was lois but i can't remember the last name uh lois lane (laughs) No. Lois, <laughs> Lois Griffin? Uh, yeah. Dana! Stop. <laughs> Let's not. Let's uh, not do this. Because, I mean, <laughs> astral projection is just essentially your your brain um, putting your consciousness somewhere else, right? Mm-hmm. So, like... Uh, brain pudding. Because, okay, with lucid dreaming, <laughs> with, with the... Uh, yeah, dude, with lucid dreaming, with dreaming in general... Um, it makes mm. sense to me why sleep paralysis may occur um, simply because because you're lucid dreaming um, or you are aware of the fact that you're dreaming, then your consciousness is then 
not severed but not connected to your body fully anymore so it makes right, sense that your you're mind like your brain up. is awake yeah. but then your body's not so much exactly but if i astral project i'm literally putting my consciousness somewhere else so like how <laughs> that in my head i'm like you are eliminating the process of waking up entirely <laughs> because m- like my body has no consciousness anymore to wake itself up and it, the body can't wake itself up it's just a shell yeah it's just there right. So it's like man, that's deep. I think astral projection <laughs> is just dying. I think that's just what it is. <laughs> man, that's deep. Um, <laughs> I, I think I said this to you before, Michael. But I, I, I said I, when you told me that you lucid dream every night, I was like, that just sounds exhausting. Yeah, like that yeah. sounds like you never actually yeah. get a chance to relax and just sleep. Yeah. Well, I mean, luckily, of course. Um, I would, like the way I described it is that I I lucid dream every time I remember that I have a dream. Um, sure. Uh, so of course there are those nights where I remember nothing. So those nights are very relaxing. Yeah. But um, <laughs> also I don't I don't always have to change. It's it's I don't yeah I, I don't always have to change my dream because they're not always right. Stressful. You can just sit back and let it happen. Yeah. If it's an okay time. Yeah. Which is most huh. of the time, luckily. Yeah. Wow. Albert, what, what, what have you got locked away in your nightmare by bank? Huh? In the nightmare. What do you have locked away in your nightmare vault? <laughs> oh, you mean my brain? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> everyday life, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, so that's really funny that you say that, Michael, because I was really, I, I was prepared to talk about this once once you asked me, I was like, okay, I have something. Oh. Um, usually, I okay, so I have two things. Usually, uh, m- m- my uh, nightmares, quote unquote, you, I have like scary dreams. Mm-hmm. I have dreams that like where I wake up in cold sweats and, and they, they're like legitimately terrifying. Yeah. I don't remember those though. I, I don't remember That's those. good. Usually, the dreams that I remember <clears throat> and the dreams that like that regularly scare me are when I wake up and I'm fully lucid and I and I like I wake up and everybody's like acting normal except I'm like I'm in a dream I'm in, like 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 my mom comes into my room and she's like hey sweetie how's it going like get ready for school like this is like years ago and then I'll be like no yeah. no 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 this isn't this real, isn't real. Yeah. this isn't real yeah and I run I run past her and I try to leave like I try to run or I try to like close my eyes like I go into the bathroom and I look in yeah. I, I'm like okay I gotta look in a mirror and then I look in the mirror and it's and it's not working like all the things <laughs> that people tell me to get out of dreams by like. Yeah. The whole dream will be me trying to escape it. and it's Let <laughs> me leave. I, I, is it it's like, are you talking about in these dreams, like, you wake up as if you just woke up from sleep, but then you're, yes. like, still actually dreaming? Those yeah. terrify me. Yeah. Yeah, those And I, I remember we talked about that a little bit in the same class that we would talk about sleep paralysis. I think it's just called, like, false awakenings. Um, mm-hmm. Ooh. And... It's kind of similar to, like, sleep paralysis and stuff in that you tend to have that sense of, like, something is wrong here. This is horrible. I have to get out of it. And yeah. um, I've had that before. And I remember... I haven't had this happen for a long time. But I remember... Um, God, I'm like... I don't even know why it's that, like, creepy. But for some reason, it was so freaky to me. Every time it would happen, I would have, like, that same experience. But, like... None of, like, the light switches and stuff would work. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I've like I'd those. go into the bathroom and try to turn on the light, and, like, just, it just, like, the switch wouldn't do anything. And yeah. I don't know why. That that would just give me that sense of, like, this, something is horribly wrong here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's little things like that. Like, doors won't open. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you just try like to escape from somebody. Just, like, minor details are just, like, a little bit off. Right. Yeah, like, if you escape from somebody, you can't, like, lock the door. Yeah, ever... and apparently that's really common in that kind of, like, false yeah. awakening type dream. Just, like, little things being off. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, so that, that happens to me mo- most of the time. The other thing that happens is uh, I wanted to ask you guys if, if this has ever happened to you where you've, where you've had a dream where you're, um, you like, you, you're, like, really tired. Like, you're half asleep. Or you're trying to be, like, active for the dream, but you're so... It's tired, like you can't be awake for it. No, Does I that haven't. Does that ever happen to you guys? I no, I don't think I've had that. What? 
Oh, it's such a weird feeling. I wish that one of you could like that corroborate like that for disorienting. me. Disorienting. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because it'd Wait, be like it'll two... be like something's happening. It'll be something. Okay, so I so I go into the dream. I go to sleep. I'm in the dream now, and I'm somewhere. I'm not even. It's not even a false awakening. Sometimes it is though. Sometimes mm-hmm. I try to wake up and I I can't because I'm in my bed in my dream, and I can't. It, those are weird too. But like sometimes I'll be somewhere else, and something's happening. And they're like, All right, hey, Albert, wake up. It's Santa Claus. And I'm like, I can't. I I'm can't. Jewish. I'm so tired and I'm Jewish also. <laughs> so it doesn't, I wouldn't want to wake up to that anyway. <laughs> Santa doesn't want to see me. Santa doesn't want to see me. Reschedule me, please. But I can't, like, I just can't open uh-huh. my eyes for, for the interaction or anything. Yeah, I don't think I've had that, but that sounds, like, kind of upsetting. It's a little upsetting. Yeah. Wait, Not as upsetting as like some nightmares, but still like just just uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I will say, yeah, yeah. You're too tired to wake up in real life. Is that what you're saying? No, no. In the in the dream, like, I'm too tired dream. to stay awake. Oh, to stay. Like awake. my eyes feel like like I'm I'm interacting with people, and I'm and like, okay, I'm doing the asleep. dream like it's a movie. And no, I don't keep falling asleep. I just like. My eyes are so it more it's it's less like I'm tired and it's more like my eyes are so here's what it's more like it's not like you're tired in the dream it's like when you step outside and it's very very bright and it, it hurts your oh, eyes because yeah. you haven't adjusted yourself and I, that's what it feels like it feels like I can't, my eyes are heavy and I can't open my eyes maybe you're just like being abducted <laughs> it's you it's you're like laying on the slab in the alien spaceship and the voices <laughs> are like trying to get you to like respond but the lights are so bright and like yeah. you're in this like sterile oh. hospital room fingers. environment and you just can't yeah, the keep your eyes open lights are hitting my eyes oh that yeah could be it. do you yeah. ever hear like a bzzz? do you ever hear that <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes or like bleep blorks and like yeah i was about to say like you hear like <laughs> 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 That'd be funny. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, oh man, I was gonna say something, but no, that does. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> Dude, it's been so hot, man. Dude, I know. I've been getting yeah. nosebleeds, man. Uh, oh man, oh, summer nosebleed season. Yeah. I haven't had to deal with that because I, I, um, you don't have a nose anymore. I, I haven't been going. I haven't been going out. I haven't been going outside. Right. Uh, yeah. I didn't go outside like the past two days either, because uh, I was just doing a lot of homework. It's the end of the semester, final projects and shit. But it's so hot. I have three fans on in my room. Oh my god. I have I have the fan that's on the ceiling. I have the fan in the window that pulls out the hot air, and then I have like a a, a tower fan. Right now they're on. Because otherwise, no. Because I'm oh, not okay. trying to fuck a mm-hmm. podcast. Yeah. No, I just but I was just like, I, wow. This, as soon that's as I great. leave. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I'm out of here, they're all coming back on. That's, that's not during this during this like beginning of the podcast time that we're in the summer and it's gonna continue like this. This is gonna be like this for like another couple months. It, it's gonna yeah. be a suffering for art's sake. Because I'm I'm looking at the time and I'm like oh, it's like ten ten fifteen more minutes until I can turn my fan back on. <laughs> yeah, which is not how this that's not the mentality that one should go into that, when when doing yeah, something. No, <laughs> don't look at the time. Look at your phone just or a, something. Do something else. Just sit here and enjoy. No. <laughs> enjoy the crucible of art. Yeah, dude. We're just talking. What are you guys doing? Where are you? You're as uh, like I'm looking at my I'm just looking at my audacity desktops. screen. Okay. Honestly, okay, yeah. same. I just kind of like watching the the levels go up and down. It's uh. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking it's at. It's soothing. I'm looking at nothing, or I look at my phone a little bit. <laughs> Michael's Either got that his eyes or I'm shut. Just like... <laughs> he's, <laughs> exper- he's imagining being with us at a table. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> really, he's like, oh man, I love. Oh, uh, here we are at the Chili's, and we're yeah. eating queso dip and uh, <laughs> all the talking and we're five dollar margaritas. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, no. because I don't, I don't want to. Uh, if I look at it, I'll become self-aware, and I'll be thinking about like how long this is going, and I'll be like, I'm talking sure. right now, and I'm thinking about the fact that I'm talking right now. <laughs> oh God, I think it's I'm so just boring. because. 
I think it's just because it's like something moving and I have like such a short <laughs> attention span. I just feel weird just kind of like staring at the wall and talking because there's just nothing mm. happening. That's or like, like a just cat staring. You start swatting at it. That's just like staring. <laughs> Yeah, my uh, cat brain. I thought that I would be self-conscious about hearing myself or like looking at the waveforms and being like, oh man, that's me talking right now. And I I catch myself in a loop or like I get too like self-aware. I was talking about this with Michael before we before we were like when like like I I think I called I called you in like uh just like a fear of like what if this isn't good like <laughs> nah, dude, dude, yeah <laughs> this might not be good yeah it'll well, be good. so unfunny. Yeah, it's fine, you know. But no, I just like I just like going on my phone because I know that's when, like, usually if I'm doing something that I normally do, then I'll be talking naturally like I normally do. I said normally a lot right. there, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I get you. So plus, like, I feel like I can't go on my phone because I'll just get distracted and start yeah. like s- like stop responding to things. <laughs> that's fine. It adds. Then you'll just be like, what no, <laughs> I'll be like, what do you look at? Actually, like we're this really is how I find out, out that like yeah. you were trying to like vote each other off the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say about nosebleeds before Michael. Mm. Uh, I used to get crazy bad nosebleeds as a kid. Uh, Double nostril really often. or one? Just one. Yeah. Always just one. Yeah. I can't figure out. <laughs> I think it switches. But like, I remember, I remember one time I was going on a walk and then my nose started bleeding and I was like, I have nothing to stop this right now. <laughs> but I was holding, I was holding a red Gatorade. <laughs> oh, oh my God. You just let it so, drip in there. I put my, I put the bottle up to my nose and just Ew. let the blood pour into it. Yeah. Oh God. And then just, it just looked like red Gatorade. So it was fine. I would have just, no one used, had to know. I would have just used my shirt. Not going to lie. I was not about to take off my shirt <laughs> while walking around. I was, like, pretty far from my house. I would have just, like, you. like put a lot of pressure on my head and brain to, like, just squeeze all the blood out right there. And there. <laughs> just kill just it out. It out. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, yeah. whip your head around to just try and shoot all the blood straight out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've never, I've never like actually... spirals. I've never had nosebleeds until this summer. This year just sucks, I guess. Um, like I've, I've never had nosebleeds in my life before. Um, oh wow! Usually, usually it'd be like I blow my nose and it'll be like a bloody booger and I'll be like, all right, that's the extent of it. <laughs> We're done. Um, damn. But the, but like, like was it last night? I don't remember. It was like a few nights ago. I like would um I I, I woke up at like it's really funny because I've been I've been uh going to sleep around eleven thirty or midnight these days. Um, wow, or so like, responsible. Not uh, party animal. I, yeah, dude. You know me. Um, <laughs> um, or or like this night that I'm talking about in particular. I think I was I fell asleep like earlier around like eleven, um, and I woke up at like one in the morning. Cause like usually if I wake up in the middle of the night, I know it's like oh it's only a few hours before my alarm because that's usually just how my body clock works. So I look at my phone yeah. and it's like one. AM I'm just like usually I'm up falling asleep at this time so this is weird why am I up and then like I had to like blow my nose a little bit did a little light blow and then like um I just felt th- this really heavy <laughs> thick liquid coming down my nostril and, oh, I, and I was like what is, what is that and I put my my finger there and there's blood and I was like uh, ah <laughs> so this is my experience Eureka have you experienced where it's like a long string of snot and blood together? No. Wow. And I, um, that's and awful. I only Never had that it. after um after I had surgery in in my face. Uh, I I usually get that when I when I have like a bloody nose, and so like it's just like this long thing of mucus with blood, Ooh, and every hmm. time like I blow my nose, and then like it's hanging out of my fucking nose, Ooh. and so I kind of have to like you know gently coerce it to come out. Oh god, <laughs> yeah. And it, I can like feel- imagine the exact feeling that you're talking it about. It feels like it's coming out of my fucking brain. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I've, wow. Like I pull it, and I can feel it, like reaching through the back of my skull. <laughs> I've I've okay. Oh I've, my god. I've had um I've had boogers for sure that's been like pretty long. And it sends, it sends like chills. It's like a booger log. <laughs> it like oh, chills. Yeah, it sends yeah, like yeah, a yeah, chill down that. my body be, because like I pull it out and it's so long, as if it feels connected <laughs> to my brain or something. It's yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Un, it's just uncomfortable. You're like totally aware of like the extent and yeah. depth of your nasal cavity at that point. Exactly. 
Because I or, so we've or wherever all... boogers come from, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we've all eaten boogers, right? Ew, yeah. no. Actually, yes. no. no. That was never a thing that I did. That's disgusting. Oh. I did. I was a child, Michael. Nah, dude, even as a child, <laughs> I was like, nah, this got to go. Because, like... I was a growing kid. It's... I had to know. No. What's, what's to know? <laughs> you didn't. I feel like I only did it because I saw people do it in, like, TV. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Like, like I feel like, oh, like I only did it because, like, oh, someone right? has done this. I'm going to try it now. I get that. Okay. It's I'm like that thing. It it's like that thing where, like, you're obsessed with your own smells and secretions. <laughs> you know, so when you're a, a kid, one, you have though. no self control, and so you eat everything. I don't. Off you. Okay, it's I gotta, disgusting. I gotta know what else you've eaten <laughs> at this point. But... No, 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 that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it. I don't know. I, some some kids eat scabs though. Uh, I've heard uh, of that. Uh, I've heard uh, of that. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I've also heard of that. <laughs> heard I used, that. I knew someone who did that, and it was so no. upsetting to me. <laughs> What else? There's that, that that could tie into a uh, disorder though. So like I don't. Yes. Yeah, so mm, I don't, that's true. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah. That's not that funny. The worst boy. thing I've done is I've uh, I've eaten a little bit of earwax. That oh. was also as a child. Oh man, that sounds Please. nasty. Dude, it's the most bitter thing I've ever tasted. I've, it's I've fucking tasted very it like on accident, but I would never like intentionally because it's just so yeah, just so like. It smells terrible. Horribly bitter. Albert, did you, did you have you also tasted earwax? I um oh yeah absolutely but but wow. it reminded me of one time in um well I mean you know as a kid like well, yeah, I don't know yeah. like, yesterday like yeah <laughs> it was last week yeah. um, but you just reminded me of like a thing that that I I think I remember somebody doing in like elementary school you see like wet willies and so like. Um, oh, but, like, there's yeah. a reason why you would never do, uh, like, you, you, you as the same person giving out wet willies, you'd never, like, give them out in succession because <laughs> what you're doing is, like, you... Cross-contamination. You, you, well, you're cross-contamination. Sure, yeah, <laughs> that, that too. Right. But it's like, okay, so you lick your, your pinky and then you stick it in someone's ear. And then you gotta lick it uh, again to, like, stick it in another person's ear. So they can only try to, like, twice. you're gonna taste it. And then he was like, now you uh, I'm gonna, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now what you got to do is you lick each one of your fingers. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. You got 10 of them. Yeah, that kid's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> really not efficient. Wet willy work there. True. One of the... Wet willy's rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> <laughs> one of the worst edible things I've had was grass. Uh, I think I've I think I've told this to some of you before. Is but when I was a kid edible? in like, when I was a kid in kindergarten, I I I was thinking about cows, and I was thinking about like I think this was at my kindergarten graduation. I don't even remember. Oh, but man. like, I, I was thinking about cows, and I was thinking about how like, man, when cows eat grass, they like they really enjoy it. They make it look really good. Cows make and grass so look good. I was, I was in like a little pla- white plastic fold out chair, and I remember I just like reached under my chair, I pulled up some grass, and I <laughs> ate it. Oh man, you should not. And have it just tasted like any dirt. Diploma after that, <laughs> like, like your like principal they, like I, like I walk up that. to like. No no, 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 no! I'm like walking up to the principal, and like my my face is just covered in mud. And then they they just like they pull away the diploma from me, and she just like hides it behind her back. He's just like, Mm-mm. yeah. Mm-mm. Go try, back try to your, again. Go back to your family. Yeah. You don't deserve this. Go back. You yeah, know, I've never I've never eaten grass, probably because I've tasted it by like falling before. So that's oh that's yeah, probably what saved yeah, me. Yeah. Well, I never, the association never of pain. Yeah. Because, you know, sports, I'd fall and uh, ah. get a, get a oh, little... Oh, Michael, I hate it. always playing yeah. so many sports, <laughs> eating so much grass. And pussy. Yeah, dude. It's just <laughs> all I did in middle school, man. It's... No! <laughs> it's like if I was later. As a middle schooler. <laughs> yeah, dude. All I did, sports, pussy, v- no! on, on repeat, that's it. <laughs> The, no, the daily then, routine. And then your mom would pick you up from school, and, and she'd be like, oh, hey, you want to go to McDonald's? Are you hungry? And you're like, nah, man. <laughs> I'm nah, good. Dude. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm I got full. my foot like grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, if, if you saw pictures of me in middle school, or now, you would, you would <laughs> definitely assume that I eat grass and do not eat pussy. That's... <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> like, fa- There's two like things falling... I know about Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Eating shit, like, in sports was, like... Like, like, like I just... I just hated that feel. Like that was the worst feeling in the world. Not just because it hurt to fall, but because I don't know if you guys like were like this as a kid. But every time I ran, like, like my my gymnastics coach like drew me to this, drew my attention to this. That I run, I used to run around with my mouth open all the time. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, you, oh, yeah, just, like you used to have your mouth, your mouth all slack. Yeah, because you breathe with your mouth sometimes. Um, I had my old girlfriend, one of my ex girlfriends, had to teach me uh, not to be a fucking mouth breather. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Because uh, you were so nasally. I would just sit there in the theater and I'd be like, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You've come a long way. Like, I could easily yeah. see, like, if someone didn't tell you about that, like, because you're, cause you're I a very nasally person. I could easily see you as a mouth breather. <laughs> well, you're a very nasally person, oh, you know? Yeah. yeah, I'm, like, congested 24-7. Yeah. Like, I'm sure if any, if any guy, like, God forbid anyone listens to this, but, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, they'll pro- they could hear, like, like, there's, like, a, there's, like, a, quality like of congested sort of oh like yeah a, I, I think it's, it's i'm pretty there. sure it's because i'm actually allergic to my own dog uh, <laughs> yeah. i'm allergic yeah, yeah. to i'm allergic to dogs and cats and uh Just i only love. figured it out i only figured it out like a few uh weeks ago years, i like in high school i think yeah uh because yeah. like i was in, i was in middle school and i had a dog i had a pet pug his name was jacks he was wonderful and um, Little pod. sometimes, sometimes after like holding him, I would just be really itchy, <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> I never really considered just it too much. Just never made that connection. I was just like, oh, I guess maybe he's just fucking dirty yeah. or something, <laughs> <laughs> and it's Please. making me itchy. He's just a dirty ass dog. Oh man, uh, that's so funny. <laughs> and then I only made the connection in high school when like when I started hanging out with people who had cats, and then when I would hang out with cats, I would get really bad allergies. Mm. Uh, but I I don't like I don't usually hold my current dog Zoe because she doesn't like being held really. So like I didn't really have that issue of getting <laughs> like allergic reactions on my skin. So okay. I only figured it out that like oh I'm allergic to cats. I'm probably also allergic to dogs and that's probably yeah. why I'm constantly congested. Constantly Maybe dying. Maybe that's also why home. you have like <laughs> gasping for breath <laughs> yeah. as soon as you wake up. What if, what if that's the reason why you have such terrible eczema on your hands is because you just like give to Zoe too much love? Oh, that definitely like that definitely affects it because it like makes my fucking hands itchy. I don't remember if I talked about this in the last podcast or not. I have stress eczema. Um, it only started developing like a year or two ago, Oof. and it's just been spreading across my hand because I'm just yeah, so stressed we'll out that my you. body is fucking destroying <laughs> itself. I'm gonna look like a giant raisin by the end of the year. Yeah, you're gonna be a. a, 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 a a cautionary tale drawn by Junji Ito. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Don't scratch yourself or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, Dude. I, Michael? Uh, I was going to say earlier, um, with, uh, with, uh, tasting bodily fluids and whatnot, I think the, ah. I think the, uh, yeah. the only thing I've tasted that I was like, I don't love it, but I can handle it is, uh, tasting my sweat. Uh, Ugh. And it's, yeah. it's like, like it's just real. It's very it's like just sour. Right? You no, know, it's really salty. Yeah. Yeah. And it's. I was like, this is fine. I don't want it, but this. But is, like, this I is can fine. handle it. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember tasting my sweat. I remember some kind of sour sensation on my skin. Just stand, <laughs> I don't remember what it was. stand outside for like an hour and just <laughs> let it drip into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> With your mouth. Open. I don't get super sweaty. Gotta exercise oh, yeah. more. I get really sweaty really easily. It just like I, I, I got it from my man. mom. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, can you I say that again? I didn't understand anything you just said. Great, love that. Um, I sweat a lot, <laughs> and it's something I got from my mom because she also just like is always <laughs> sweaty. So, thanks, mom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> passing down the uh, the. High high prioritizing the the glands. Yeah, the, uh, it's important. Yeah, I. It's a bit you know, I go it on really those is. like. I go on those like thirty mile bike rides. Uh, yeah. Uh, but like I don't like get sweaty. Like I just get <laughs> like greasy. Like it's just mm. like a acu- something accumulates on my skin. Like a film just starts forming over my skin. <laughs> a protective mm. layer. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't really like start dripping sweat. 
your body yeah, like I, notices your your raise in, in like body temperature and heart rate and it's just like you need to protect <laughs> rain and it just like creates like the foam <laughs> to be honest with you like um of course uh only when i'm working out because otherwise i don't want to sweat but like i envy people who sweat a lot when they when they like work out and whatnot because like yeah it looks satisfying it's like yeah you're working out, working hard. And I wish like, I could sweat. Cause it is kind yeah, of really satisfying to be out. like just drenched in sweat after a workout. Because it feels like I yeah. like physically shed some of myself. You're reborn. <laughs> I, mean, I don't you know, lose the water weight, right? I feel like if you were to actually feel it, like you would be, you, for, for a second you'd be like, Wow, this is my work. I mean, and then and then a second later you just be like, uh, yeah. uh, 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 I have to like, yeah, this is terrible. Well, no, because I mean I've been really, really I've been really drenched from sweat, but it's just taken longer, uh, from like out of running and whatnot, um, or some doing some activity for a while, and I would like feel that my back, my shirt is like wet and whatnot. That's like, uh it's still a satisfying feeling to me so like um i don't know it's just that i i can easily imagine myself being drenched and just being like this feels good time for a shower of course because i know what happens if i don't shower but you know <laughs> yeah the shower goblin comes for you yeah <laughs> you must shower <laughs> you smell yeah. <laughs> you something stinks, stinks. <laughs> yeah just starts hurling <laughs> little blocks of soap at you. Yeah. <laughs> Use it. <laughs> I know. Arm yourself. S- smelling. Take it, friends. Smelling is like one of my, uh, like, I guess, uh, nightmares just or fears. Because, like, I, to smell. Yeah, I feel devastated <laughs> if someone is like, dude, you smell. I. My day is ruined. Oh, oh. I'm like, damn. Oh, I completely understand. Because right. it's not something you can ever notice. And then if no one told you, you constantly. don't know how yeah, long exactly. that yeah. you were just walking around smelling. Exactly. Yeah. I worry mostly about my breath. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I worry about that, too. I, man, I, ugh. Oh, man. Okay, so, so like, so, uh, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you just reminded me something. I gotta, I gotta take this on my chest. So, like, um... <laughs> Like like a sleep paralysis <laughs> demon. I gotta get this off my chest. Um, so my my sister uh, was my sister is does this thing where it's like she she can dish it but she can't <laughs> take it. Like she she's totally comfortable oh, telling no. me like when, when I stink in any capacity and then, mm. and I'm I'm like I'll like take it. Like I'm like okay that's f- fine. But like like there was like a good like week. Where like she just kept telling me like I kept like like she's the reason why I I brush my tongue for like a full minute now oh <laughs> is because like not not because like I want to like you know I I care if she thinks I smell but it's like you know she's like the rest of the world yeah you know? so like a job yeah. interview or like some someone I actually care about I don't know like yeah. you know what I mean um so so yeah. I do that now and um but like there was this one time man where like. My, my sister, like, like I was in the kitchen do, doing dishes, and my sister comes in, and I don't remember what she was doing, but, like, I think she came in from outside, so she must have been, like, working out, or she was, like, doing something, and she, she just like, smelled there. so bad, <laughs> just standing there, just picking up a stink, and, and I couldn't... It was it was a long time ago. It was like it was it was it was a couple years ago when like I we weren't at that point in our relationship where we could tell each other that stuff, and I just remember like, right like she just smelled so fucking bad and like I couldn't like <laughs> I couldn't tell her, <laughs> but like I felt I feel like if I if I told her that now like if she come, if she came into my room right now and she stunk up a storm and I told her that. I feel like she would get, like, very offended. So there's really, a, you know, you have to be, like, you have to have, like, you have to be cool with, like, being gross. Like, I feel like that's a good thing to have. You got to be like, okay, that I makes sense. Like, my breath would stink. I'm going to go do something about that. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. You should uh, just, like, lightly suggest it. Like, when she's, like, hanging out, just uh, start going. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Passive aggressively, like just like just give a sniff and just. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. 
<laughs> what what deodorant do you use? <laughs> what what? <laughs> No, the, don't even say anything. But just as like throughout the day, room, just keep just giving go, little sniffs. Hmm. Like, hmm. <laughs> okay. hmm. I, guess, I guess it's that kind of day. Make like right. make like a little face. Like a, just, like yeah, a just like make like a little face on your face, and then, and then just and yeah. then just and like try to shake your head. Smell is. Like this yeah. I'm just gonna shake my head like as I leave <laughs> under your under your breath. Just like must have been my imagination. <laughs> Huh. Uh, that's, that's weird. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll by the end of the day, she'll probably get the hint. <laughs> You're right. Or, or beat you up. <laughs> or beat me up. Yeah. Like, What's your problem? Yeah. You want to go? Yeah. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. The, the... I, I've never had a sibling. I think if I did, I'd fuck with them pretty hard. But I remember... Apparently my I don't remember this, but my parents asked me when I was younger if I wanted a uh, if I wanted like a younger sibling, and I told them no because <laughs> for Christmas I wanted all the presents. That's so funny. <laughs> Do you That's think you awesome. would have had a sibling if you had said yes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. But it's ask really funny to think about now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that they never, you, you, the only reason yeah. why you don't have a sibling when you were a little <laughs> child. because you're like, because you know, I was selfish. Yeah. They just took you seriously. Yeah, <laughs> after like, that, they're like, well, right. yeah, they're so like, I guess we're done then. Child. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the the presence answer is a very intelligence intelligent intelligence answer. Like I feel like <laughs> I, if I were that age and my parents asked me that question, I I would never have thought of thought to think that like, who or, or are even you say people? that like like i would have just been like yeah that's fine and then figured out later like in hanukkah like <laughs> oh, dang i should have like, said no <laughs> like, damn it i just exposed my, i just exposed myself now. for the selfish <laughs> little bitch that i am deep down inside <laughs> i'm yeah, a, real deep down i'm just an awful person yeah you, you just don't care <laughs> the truth comes out and that's okay yeah i can't believe it <laughs> Dude. Your dad just he leaves the room and he goes, oh. Like, like, I didn't see that coming. What a little oh, monster man. I've raised. Man. I don't even know when this was. So, it, like, it right. must have been, like, elementary or before. That's so funny. Like, probably before elementary. Yeah. Probably kindergarten or but lower. I wonder what life would be uh, like if you had a younger whatever. I know. <laughs> I'd probably be worse. <laughs> I feel like you probably. I think I'd fuck with people much harder if I was like the older sibling. Yeah. Yeah. Because I love, I I love messing around. Of course. You're all about pranking. I don't. I don't want to like actually upset people. For sure. You're living that prankster's life for sure. I I would I would definitely say because like I have seen I think we've all seen a picture of of (laughs) baby Rain. I just pictured that one where you're holding (laughs) Jack's little cute kid with with the Christmas hat. Like yeah, Rain is like <laughs> Rain, Rain is like the cutest baby in the world. Like I could so imagine like you wreaking havoc. Because you're just so like, cute. Everyone lets you, get you away do whatever you it, want. You were adorable. Yeah. <laughs> My dad told me the first time I laughed is when he dropped a stack of books. <laughs> My and God. so he just kept picking up the books and dropping them and I would keep laughing. That's really funny. That's hilarious. Do any of you know the first time mm-hmm. you laughed? Uh, hmm. I don't think so. No, but um, my mom always tells me that like I laughed a lot. Um, that was just Aww. like that was just my my favorite pastime apparently. Uh, <laughs> I I can see it. There's, uh, there's that's a, funny. Yeah, the a famous photo a pastime of of me as a baby. I was a chubby baby, <laughs> by by the way. Like if, if you if you look, I gotta see awesome. these pictures. If you look Michael. at me now, it yeah. looks like I kept the same weight as a baby, and I just got stretched out. <laughs> yeah. um, they put wow. you in a taffy oh, pillar. Yeah, that's just it. But uh, yeah, there's a, there's a picture of me as a baby on the edge of edge of a couch just there laughing and it's 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 a great it's a great photo oh that's why i was literally literally that's laughing great. just because my mom was taking a picture of me like i just laughed a lot my cousin has that's my hilarious. cousin has baby pictures of all his friends in his I wallet i want to do that oh my god oh yeah can we do that <laughs> i want to yeah, do please. that too. i want to exchange baby pictures because i have some good baby pictures because i was also a chubby baby 
Oh, man. Your baby pictures are really funny. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could tell my parents, like, had a sense of humor when they took pictures of me. Is that one of you, like, in the sunglasses? There's one picture of me <laughs> laughing. Oh, yeah, that's what I was just going to talk about. There's one when, where I'm laughing. Um, I'm, I'm laughing, and my parents put a pair of sunglasses on me, and they also, like, filled up my crib with stuffed animals. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look that's for amazing. them. That's great. It's a good time. Yeah, I gotta see if I, I I've uh, I think I already told you guys this, but I have a picture of uh, me as a little baby with like a train conductor. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh hell yeah! And like I need to I need to show I that to you guys. Absolutely I, I need put to, that like, in my find wallet. Find copies of those. Yeah, pics or yeah, it I'll didn't give you happen. A, I'll give that to you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, I gotta I gotta provide I gotta provide proof. I don't see yeah. you as a train conductor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're I more of a sailor baby. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what are all the little baby outfits? There's like the train conductor. There's like a little sailor, it's like a cowboy. Um, yeah. <laughs> sure. That, yeah, there's a cowboy. Like staples um, of Americana, right? <laughs> UFC baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! I should. If I ever have a kid, I'm gonna dress them in ridiculous <laughs> outfits. Same oh, here, for, honestly. Like I you can't pass I, up that opportunity. That's so I funny. Think, I think that's the <laughs> only reason why people have kids. I mean, I, <laughs> Just to yeah. dress him up. Would it be pretty? Wouldn't it be funny if we had a kid? <laughs> yeah. And then it like, happens. Think of us <laughs> like combined and little. <laughs> Amazing. Like a small version of us to dress up. Amazing. Dude, my, my my goal, of course, is to have at least one kid. If you guys also have kids, are our kids going to be friends? Of course. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, like I without a not. doubt. What are you talking I'm about? <laughs> I'm not right. letting my kid talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna train my kid to like hate you and fight you. Yeah, fight your kid every morning. I'm that gonna makes show. Me, like, I'm gonna... Nervous. I'm down. It's gonna be a karate kid situation. <laughs> I'm like I'm, I'm down nervous because if all of us have kids, they'll have like the combined like knowledge of like what we would do, but then like they're gonna use it against us. <laughs> to like mess with us. They're gonna yeah. take us down. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. They're that's gonna a, overthrow a, us. Uh, nah, it's, that's yeah. a dystopian novel you just described. <laughs> it's fine, because my, my kid will know that I will fight them when right. they are of You age. are stronger. So yeah. Yeah. You'll always be but, stronger. They're gonna have to train to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know, speaking of babies, low key sometimes, like I get I have like baby fever. Uh-huh. Like I'll see, I'll see like a family with a baby. And I'm yeah. like, I want that. I mean, You're same. A lot more babies. Yeah, than me too. I am. Same, but that's kind of like part of having a uterus. True. Like your hormones literally give you baby fever sometimes. It's time. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, sound the alarms. <laughs> give your baby to me. <laughs> your baby, give it to me. Your, your, your baby clothes. <laughs> your baby clothes. <laughs> oh, man. I miss being a kid. Oh, man. I get you, man. It was a good time. I miss having that little green little tykes car <laughs> with the purple handle on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, man. I nah, did. And please. Are we going to do, like, are we going to do editing for these episodes of, like, just putting up, like, are we gonna like add pictures or something? Oh my god, we should we should put that. our uh, baby pictures. That takes effort. I mean, but yeah, we, if we can, it'll we also be weird because like there's nothing really on the screen for the rest of the podcast. Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Besides random images, well, nah, maybe dude, part um, of the so random images really could be, be the baby people pictures. People aren't really gonna be watching it. True. Yeah, I do not. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I've never. I don't know. Like I, I don't. Yeah, sorry, not, go, Michael. I not don't know. random images, very on purpose, very planned. Um, <laughs> yeah. Important images people need to look at. It's You're right, I'm very sorry. Where we yeah. act out our our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's animated, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did a whole Muppet series. Yeah. Don't With talk our... to me about Muppets. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> the Ventriloquist really series. Too soon. The scarier yeah. dummies. A little touchy right now. A little touchy. <laughs> yeah. Dude. But I remember, you know, my life as a kid was basically being afraid of getting in trouble, um, but sometimes doing things that would get me in trouble sometimes, you know. Uh, not, mm-hmm. not, not because I knew it would get me in trouble. I was like, I'm just doing this thing, and then suddenly I'm in trouble, you know. Oh, yeah. I get uh, that. Right. I didn't know we, this was we, off limits. We, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
We touched on this yeah. in the previous episode. Yeah. It's good time. I was such a goody two shoes. I was so scared of being uh being called out for anything. Yeah, Me same. Too. Same, same. I don't like being yelled at. <laughs> but uh Yeah. Part of uh but I, 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 I do gotta say, a part of uh you know, my, my growing process of being okay with uh messing up or like um doing something uh, rowdy from here from time to time is is because my friends would bully me as a kid uh-huh. so yeah. it's like event- eventually yeah. i would yeah. just grow a little wall of just like yeah i don't i don't care that you're insulting me right now or like <laughs> um or like you're tough like now. i like i'm not afraid that you're gonna punch me now i'm gonna just take it like that's just like <laughs> became the mindset right. and it, it almost it 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 al- it became equal playing ground at that point where it's like yeah i bully you you bully me this is this is this, all this love. is what we have agreed upon yeah because yeah. uh, i remember one of the turning points for me as a kid was like i was playing catch with uh, at a friend's house it was me and his uh and his cousin playing with the football and I threw it, but I don't I don't know what happened. I guess, like, in the moment of playing catch, I was like, you know, I've caught the ball. My body knows it's time to throw it. But, like, after um, uh, my friend's cousin threw the ball to me, uh, like, he needed to, like, wipe his face. So he needed to do something that would not allow him to catch it. Or someone called him. I don't remember. Um, so he looked away. And, like... It was one. It was one of those move, uh, those moments where like I had a brain fart where I threw the ball, but after I threw it, I said, "Watch out," and it like <laughs> just it just hit him. I think in the face or something, and he got so oh. mad. And he got so mad, but it was just so funny for everybody else. And I was like, I felt so bad, <laughs> but also I was like, this is funny. But also I was like, I don't know, I don't know how or why that happened. Where like I threw it first, and then my brain was like, "Watch out." <laughs> <laughs> like right, right, right before it hits him, he had no time to react. Yeah, because you wanted to absolve yourself. Yeah. Well, no, not blame. Not, you're like, listen, I that was I was clearly to blame, and I was I was taking the blame. It was, I was more just confused <laughs> as to how I could, how I didn't just you know not throw it. <laughs> No, no, no. I was, I was gonna like that. What, what I mean is like, like the reason why you said it so, like, like you, you forgot to say it, and then you're like, oh, oh, maybe if I say it now, like it'll work, and like he'll, he'll be able to catch it or move out of the way. Like maybe something will happen, like where I can save this. Yeah. <laughs> I can no, save was, him. Yeah, it's too late. <laughs> I can be a hero, but it was too Definitely late. Too late. As a kid, I, 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 I often like, like I, I, I could probably. I, there were probably many times in which I like I, I got into fights with kids, with other kids my age, and like I, I like I was like too rough with them because like I, I as like a as like a strong child you don't know <laughs> you how didn't strong know your own strength. you don't know the yeah, extent your power. you don't know your own strength yeah because um, I used to do gymnastics as, as a kid all the time so like I, I was so limber and like I could kill people <laughs> and I, I, I bet I could have killed people as a kid like. <laughs> I think Not for even sure kids known. could kill people. Sure, yeah. Like well, when the government realizes that, that they could weaponize they children, <laughs> they definitely will. They're gonna do it. I mean, Mike, and Michael told me about a dream a where problem. a child was killing people and nobody would believe Michael. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Horrifying. That was a, that was a pretty good because you can make a movie out was, of that. It was that's like cool. just this little girl, and she would just go around like killing people. But it was, but it's like <laughs> yeah no like she she knew that I knew that no one would believe me because she's a little girl, and it just it just worked. <laughs> yeah. um, but also it it had wow. the same dream logic where like people would see her kill someone and then be like nah that didn't happen you know. <laughs> <laughs> and also that little girl is the president's daughter. Uh, <laughs> you're so right. <laughs> And then the president comes in and is like, 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 Michael, sorry, Michael, you wanted to, you wanted to tell me something? And you're like, yes, uh, Mr. President, there's a, there's a little girl, uh, killing people that are left and right. Oh, you mean little Susie? <laughs> oh, she, what she wouldn't hurt a fly. No, he's like, what does she look like? And you start describing her, she's like, she, oh, yeah. she's like small, she's got black hair, she's got pigtails, and then she starts walking in the room. <laughs> and he's like, oh, hey, yeah. Susie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Susie, have you met? Uh, this is my good friend, Michael Howell. Uh, sorry, Michael. What, 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 what else Susie did you flashes like a little like, assassin's uh, blade from up her sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, you know, never mind, Mr. President. She does the cutthroat <laughs> uh, gesture. Yeah. Classic movie. Cla- <laughs> we got to make that movie. Well, it's, it's being What's made. The, what would that movie be called? It's in the works. Um, Susie, right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> The president daughter kills again. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that has to be like a part of a twist. You know, it's like the big reveal. Oh my God, it's the president's right. daughter. Yeah. Right. Or, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, that's true. The title could be the twist. Like, isn't there a book, a movie called like John Dies at the End or something like that? I mean, that's not like a twist. Like, um, <laughs> when a character yeah, yeah. dies in a movie, that's not a twist. It could be, though. <laughs> yeah, the what movie's if, called John Lives movie. at the End, and then he actually dies, and that's the twist. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what what? if Six Sense was, was called like. Uh, Bruce Willis is dead. Like that's just that's the terrible. Title of the movie. <laughs> I but yeah. would you have still seen it? Yes. Of course, no. I would have still seen it. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that have. man that sounds die. So stupid. <laughs> I like that it's Wait, the actor it's a, too. It's not even his yeah, character. Okay. It's if Bruce it Willis actor, dies. I don't. I was just gonna say if it is the actor, name. then I don't remember. Whatever, man. That's it. I, I was surprised to. to to see that movie and like like see how like I like that movie. I think that movie's like good. The Sixth Sense. Oh, yeah, solid. It's pretty solid. I, I thought I was gonna like really not like it. I remember when I first saw it, oh, I wasn't Haley like, Joel Osment. I remember when I saw it, I wasn't really scared of it because uh, I'd just seen like worst horror movies by then. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then I, I didn't like. I didn't really appreciate how like. Uh, how scary it actually is. How do I describe it? It's not like scary, but it's like creepy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I get it's, you. it's very atmospheric. Yeah, it's very like atmospheric, like, and it's just it's creepy. Yeah, like the, it's there's nothing there that's really gonna like scare you, but it's like you you will think about it. True, true. I mean, I think obviously, like people have been scared. I just didn't by that fully movie. appreciate that but, as oh, a yeah, child. Yeah, that's yeah, it's a different kind of horror. It's one of uh, M Night's good ones. I think it's his only yeah. good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I, 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 was I remember really liking Unbreakable. Oh shit, I still yeah. haven't seen that. I really want to yeah, see I haven't Unbreakable. Seen Unbreakable, but I hear that's good. Yeah, I uh, really enjoyed that movie, but I haven't seen it in a really long time. So I'm sure it's good. And apparently, um, the the sequel to that movie Split is also good. Is I, it? I, I I I heard that. It's I can't not believe good. he's still making movies. That's crazy to me. Yeah, well, you know, it's what he wants the to do. The number of failures he's made. Well, you yeah. know, we should be allowed to make bad movies. You know? Were they were they like critical failures or were they like were they critical and box office failures or were they just critical failures? They're That's just my critical real failures. Oh, maybe they weren't box office they're de- failures. They're definitely not box office failures. They they Okay, so people still failures. like go and there because it's why M Night Shyamalan. He keeps making movies. Yes. Yeah. And also it's it's, it's crazy. Uh, like it's you can you can people want to go see a movie they know is bad too. True. So it's it's That's true. it's hard to. I guess distinguish fail. Yeah, well, because it's it's, you know, people just want to make movies that they want to make, and I respect that. People should continue doing that. So at the end of the day, yeah. like they don't even care, like. If people think it's a good idea because they're going to watch it. Uh, sure. I, like, I'm sure, like, I'm not this kind of person, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who just go and see a movie just to see a movie, too. Yeah. Like, they yeah. have no idea what the movie yeah. is, and it's like, yeah, I'm just going to watch For sure. this. So. It's weird to do that, like, in a theater. I always, like... Every time I go see a movie in a theater, it's a conscious decision to go. Oh, yeah. Like, either you think that movie's going to be good or, like, you never, like, it's never like, oh, I, who cares? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm never well, like, I'm in the mood to go to a theater. I'm going to go to the theater and watch a movie. That's just me. Uh, uh, yeah. For me, it's, it's uh, I use the same reasoning as to if I want to watch a movie at home on my computer or in the theater. If I'm willing to watch it at home, then I'm willing to watch it in a theater because then it's just... A better quality experience and it's like yeah, I won't regret that you know but yeah but I've only seen like a movie in theaters like I guess not counting this year I usually see like 
three or four movies like a year in theaters. Yeah. And it's only like yeah. ones that I really think I'm gonna care about, like Parasite. Exactly. I worry for theaters because of this quarantine. Huh? Oh, sure. I worry for for theaters in this quarantine. Just oh, for sure. They were. They're not I getting they any were, money. They were already in decline, right? Yeah. And then. Cause they're expensive. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I I just I now uh, every movie is being released on demand. Yeah, yeah like like twenty bucks. Yeah, oh twenty bucks. What the hell? I mean, I get I it because you watching... can have like a lot of people in your household. So true. Yeah. Right, right. Did you see the? Did you watch that Red Letter Media thing? Uh, no, I didn't. Right. Uh, there there was like a, they they were just they were just doing like movie catch ups because like you can't go to the theater so it's like what movies are like just all the movies that are available on demand oh, yeah. that's what they're reviewing that. now and uh something that that uh, one of the guys says uh jay he's like he's like yeah uh, well, well well mike said like oh yeah it hits that perfect mark of like uh you, you don't want it to be like like 50 dollars is way too much because what if it's only you yeah um and 10 dollars seems like too little because what if you want like like five or four people yeah. <clears throat> going in with you to see the movie in the living room so twenty dollars is like you could have your whole family, uh, and still get like a ticket price out of every single one of them. Yeah, more or less. Um, but then um, I remember Jay, Jay was saying like, yeah, like to to watch a movie that was originally going to be in theaters for tw- if I could pay twenty dollars to see that in my house, I would totally do that. And I'm like, I don't know about that. Like I would, not, I would. <laughs> I love the movie theater experience. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah. But I don't know what kind of people live in Milwaukee, so I don't know if it's, like, really <laughs> terrible to go see a movie there. But, like, people sure. around I here mean... are, like, generally respectful. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if not, then I'm just going to... I'm going to wreck them, you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to quote your favorite animated character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but uh, I, don't, I don't think that the reason why... Like, I don't, I don't watch... Uh, I don't go to the theater and watch a movie, like, when it's... Like just co- when it just came out, I think the last time I did that was like with Endgame or with like the last couple of Avenger movies I like saw, like with a packed theater. Right. And I don't really enjoy that experience personally. So you go like later. You go when you don't care anymore. Like, yeah. The movie's been out for like a month. Sometimes it's really fun to go if like it's a, if it's like a fun, like actiony type movie, and then like yeah. people like show up and they start clapping. Like, that's pretty fun sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Unless they're, yeah. like, clapping at the wrong we... things, then I'm like, this is terrible. <laughs> I hate being here. When we all saw Get Out together, yeah. that was fun. Oh, the yeah, Jordan that was awesome. Experience. Like, yeah, was nice, awesome. nice horror movies. Horror movies are good to watch. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. I, I've told you, you guys this before, but I went to see um, Deathly Hollows, or... Is it, I guess, um, what was it? Not Deathly Hollows. Half Blood Prince. Prince. Like when it came out, and like um, oh uh huh, in that scene where like, uh, when Dumbledore's like fucking doing all the, the, the <laughs> fucking flame Bless shit, you. uh, and he's like drinking all the shitty water. Mm-hmm. Um, I just remember like when like all those like those things are trying to grab Harry under the water, the guys next to me just kept being like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. shit, and I was like, I was like so annoyed at the time because I was just like a child and yeah. I didn't. Uh, I didn't think it was funny, but now I think that's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, if you're if you're like a, I mean, I'm not saying this is you, Ryan, but like if you're like a huge Harry Potter fan, and like you're like, oh man, like, like I didn't get to see when it came out uh, in theaters immediately, but like now it's like two or three weeks later, like I finally have time to go see it. I'm so stoked. That part is my favorite part in the book. Uh, I can't wait. And, like, you guess that part, and, like, just the audience is just, like, it's just ruining the immersion oh, for you. Oh, shit. Like, I, w- I would hate that, too, because I'd be like, oh, man, Dumbledore. <laughs> my Dumbledore. man. I would, uh, I would say that, like, if you're, if you're that type of person, then the theater is probably not for you. Because I, I, I don't. I agree. I yeah. don't, I still don't want to see to, the movie, though. Well, yeah, but you just, like, wait for, like, to own it on blu-ray or something too or long i'm sure it's on demand on some somewhere <laughs> um i mean yeah. yeah well then you know if you can't wait then really go but i i would hate going to theater if i'm always like trying to hope that like the audience is is good 
but also <laughs> there's easy solutions yeah. where like you just don't go doing the times that are packed or yeah, go to the matinees yeah dude i usually go yeah. for matinees because it's cheaper exactly <clears throat> still doesn't guarantee that not happening but because sometimes when there's nobody in the theater like we've done this when when there's like hardly anyone in the theater we're like this is our theater now and w- now we're the assholes yeah <laughs> now we're talking well yeah so there are people that have that do that where it's you could go to the matinee you think that it's going to be fine because it's not well, we packed, usually go to like we usually go to like the two the shitty the, movies the buck 50 theater where it's yeah. all shitty yeah. movies that have been out for like months that's true. And usually there's no one there. And if there are people there, then we sit in, like, the back or all the way at the front. <laughs> That's true. I just, I, I, I still feel bad. <laughs> well, then shut up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shut like the sit fuck up. Be respectful. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the movie, you start talking to me, I'm like, shut, shut up. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> dude. I've been waiting. I've been waiting like three months to see the Grinch. Yeah, shut <laughs> up! Okay, okay. stop. <laughs> You're being disrespectful to the kids <laughs> and to Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I never saw that movie. I never saw that movie. That's okay. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Don't see it. <laughs> what What illumination? Like I, I, I really, I really hate illumination. I really like Despicable Studios. Me. I like the first Despicable Me. D- Despicable Me is is good, and I even like the second one. So you don't I like that I sit too. on the toilet. <laughs> but that's the only. So good. Oh man, oh man, you made me pop. I popped so hard. You're gonna, you're gonna have to like take that I felt out there. That. <laughs> <laughs> like you threw my two socks. You couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't muffle it. Oh man. But like besides Despicable Me, uh, the Lorax. Any everything else that Illuminations that. made. It's just the Lorax, not good. Dude, it is funny. I like the. I like the. No, Lorax. it sucks. I like the Lorax. <laughs> um, oh my god, dude! You love the Secret Life of Pets. You watch that every night to go to sleep. Oh god. Um, You're right. I you, love Louis C.K. You love the dog. Yeah. You love Sing. It's really inspirational to you. You text me every night that I just watched Sing again, and I feel so <laughs> yeah. inspired. Yeah. And you love you love <laughs> Hop. You know. <laughs> James Corden. Pop is great because I'm like finally, like I texted you, Michael. I was like, finally, representation. Exactly. For, one for the Easter Easter people. Yeah. One for <laughs> Easter Island <Stupid> people. <laughs> yeah. There's no animated Easter movie. Finally. Finally. A little unrelated, but I wanted to watch that, a Green Eggs and Ham anime that they put up on Netflix. Oh yeah, it's like a series. It's the one that looks like like a Miyazaki film. It's Wait, so what? like the no the, the quality of the animation, the quality of the animation and it's like an the anime? character. Di- it's not an anime, but it's like it's two D oh, animated, okay. and the quality of the animation and like the the sort of style of it reminds me so much of Ghibli films. And I really wanted to check it out, but also I didn't want to check it out because it's green eggs and ham. Right. What's that plot going to be about? I remember when I was in uh, kindergarten, they actually made us make green eggs and ham yeah i had one of those days too oh yeah and so like yeah. they gave us like the food dye and like had us like make it all yeah i've uh i've done that before but it, how did you guys make it i don't i don't really remember honestly i didn't I think they were it. scrambled uh whoa they were scrambled what, for me too what the, what they scrambled? i don't know they're sunny side up in the in the book yeah it's we unfaithful did, we did sunny it side was traumatic up. for me because <laughs> you're like no green food uh, no green food, and also the I have a weird food. thing where I don't like, bes- besides you, Rain, I don't like it when other people make eggs for me. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't like other eggs from other people. <laughs> I don't trust like that. Because I make eggs in a very specific way, how and I've you, made them for years, and I like them in a very specific way. He's kind of got like the diner egg style. How do you, Yeah. do you think it's impossible for other people short to order. make that? or? No, it's just for the longest time it was like disgusting for me. So <laughs> this and especially is all I know. as a kid. Especially as a kid. I'm so when so confused. when I went to it was also in kindergarten for me. It was Green Eggs and Hand Day. I don't know why. Um <laughs> they it was like green ham and eggs. It was so disgusting <laughs> that they made and it smelled it, it didn't smell like me or my family. I hated it so much. <laughs> ah, so you're traumatized by green Eggs and ham. Yeah. That's what it is. I remember I, having I was like a, a little bit. I feel like I remember having like a chicken coop at my kindergarten 
But I don't know if that's just like a weird dream I had when I was a kid. I don't know. A chicken coop? I like to imagine we got the eggs from there. Whoa. That's cool. I like I, I that's like cool. in my memory, the the computer lab is right next to the chicken coop. Like the chicken area. But like I've no I have no idea if that's real. Sure. Let's just say it is, because why not? <laughs> but uh Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. Uh, my fellow students were chickens. But uh, in uh, yeah. in terms of uh, uh, cooking eggs, there is something that, like, I never planned on telling you guys, but I always kept it Whoa. to myself because I'm like, Whoa. yeah, this is a win for me. <laughs> but I remember this one this one time, we were at Mars' house, and we, we woke up there because we sleep over all the time, of course, uh, and I was making scrambled eggs, and both of you made fun mm. of me for the way I was making it. You were both like this. I literally put the eggs. I cracked the eggs into the pan and scrambled them in the pan. Oh, you scrambled them in the pan. Yeah. And you guys were like, you monster. You're supposed to put it in a bowl first. (laughs) You got to do this and that. Yeah, bro. And in that moment, I was like, damn, they, dude. Do I know how to make eggs? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, so damn, othered. what? I've made, I've been making eggs this way like my my whole life. You've been up fucking up then. eggs your whole life. No, no, and then and then. Well, I might. And I then might not feel I that. see okay, this yeah, video sorry, of Gordon Ramsay making eggs, and he's like, you know, I always scramble them in the pan because it's like fluffier that way. And I was just like, oh, yeah. dude, these <laughs> idiots didn't don't know anything. <laughs> They're just insulting me because well, it's not the way that they make it. And I was like, dude, this is a win for well, me. Well, here's, here's why I... <laughs> they did that in Bon Appetit, too. Okay, let me, let me defend. Let me defend now. So the only reason why I would have a problem with you scrambling eggs in the pan, because otherwise you're just saving because dishes. Because that's, that's not how you no, did it. No, Michael, the reason why you wouldn't do it is because if you were using a metal fork... Against a metal pan. Wasn't, a I definitely pan. wasn't doing that. You're probably doing it with a spatula. What I was, were you using? Yeah, I was a using plastic one fork? of the spatulas. You, you using a spatula? I, no, oh, okay. you were specifically yeah, making fun of me for scrambling them in the pan. <laughs> I remember this vividly. Well, I'm sure I was a different person at yeah, that time. I'm, now I'm look, different. I'm, I'm still, holding I it still, against you guys. I'm just saying. I'm still not a huge fan of that style just because, like, I think th- this was, like, when I did it, like, as a kid when I was not good at cooking. I'm pretty I'm pretty decent at cooking now. Um but like when I when I made that made it that way as a kid, I would get like little clumps of just white egg and I was like yeah, this dude. sucks. No. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't you mean it wouldn't be scrambled enough. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't scramble enough. There would be like a lot of it's yellow but then there's like little chunks of white egg and I was like this is yeah. this is crispier than the rest and it's not what I want out of out of scrambled eggs. Yeah. I prefer my eggs sunny side up with a runny yolk. That's look, how I that's how look, I make them now. I'm I when, like when, that when too, I make scrambled good. eggs, I do the I do it with like when you're like constantly whisking it in the pan and it like forms those little curds and it's like super soft. Look, that's how I like my scrambled eggs now. I'm saying I'm just saying if you made fun of me now and did that, you'd have reasonable reasons for it. But in that moment, you guys were just saying <laughs> it was wrong and that's not how you should make eggs. And I was, yes. I was like broken for like a few days, <laughs> and then I, well, I still continued making it. Oh, then a man. few years later, I saw Golden Ramsey doing it, and I was validated, dude. And I was like, ah, and re- reaffirmed your. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing me from now on. You know, these, these people <laughs> just insulting my eggs. You know. Okay. You know what, Michael? And it's not because Gordon Ramsay is on your side now. I'm, I swear, it has nothing to do with that. I am. I'm. I'm sorry that I'm I, sorry, I'm sorry that I was harsh. Yeah, dude. I'm sorry. 